GGRC. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of GGRC. I am RC and today we are checking out a game called Grip. Now, obviously there'd be some music or something going on right now and just be my voice, but usually what I do for YouTube videos, I turn the music down in certain games because this game actually looks like it has uh, some music in it from uh, some other uh, particular artists here. So, uh, my, my YouTube videos usually get flagged when this stuff is in here. So I'm just not even going to turn it on while we're, uh, while we're, while we're doing the video here. Uh, but just so you know, the music is sort of a, uh, electronic type of thing. You know, it's a electronic, some dubstep, that kind of thing. It's, it's racing electric music, but regardless grip as a game, what this game is, is that it's supposed to be based on a game called roll cage. It's supposed to be sort of a spiritual successor to that game. Now I did not have the pleasure of playing roll cage when it was a game back. I think it came out in the late nineties. Uh, however, a lot of people have very fond memories of it. And basically the whole idea is that you play as a car that can run either top or bottom. So you see the car right here. Uh, you know, this car is running this way, but if it were to flip over, it would just like keep going. Um, and this game does a lot of great things, but it does a lot of other things that are not so great, and we'll talk about it. But I would have to say, just judging from where it is right now, it's mostly good. Most of the things in this game are good, and I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. So, at the moment, I am sort of in, I would say, a little over two hours into the game, okay? And you have a few different options of uh, the type of game you want to play here. There is a campaign, so if you go in uh, to campaign... You see that there's a whole setup here of different tournaments you can be in. Uh, so far, I've made it up to tier three. I finished the first two tiers. Uh, these are a mixture of races and and duels, deathmatch, that kind of thing. And yes, this game does have deathmatch for those of you who are interested in that. And it is pretty cool. Um, and of course, you have the option of playing this game online too. I played a few matches online. Seemed to work pretty well. I uh, had no complaints there. Uh, you obviously have the choice of doing single player races too, if you don't want to do any of the other stuff. And within single player races, you do have bots, so you can race, you can do a deathmatch arena, and there's also car core, uh, which I actually haven't tried yet, so we might try that before we're done here. Uh, but it says twists, turns, loops, jumps, and other obstacles make up levels that push your precision, precision driving skills to the limit. Grab all the collectibles as fast as you can. Um, and that might be a little difficult going in here because that, that is one of the issues I've had with this game is just sometimes it's not super precise, but that might actually be on me because, uh, you know, it's, I find some of these tracks are a little bit trial and error. Once you, once you play on the tracks a couple times, you kind of know what to expect going in, uh, you know, uh, to certain turns and that kind of stuff. But there's other times where you just can't help what's happening at the time. It becomes very, very annoying. Um, but we're going to jump into tournament one here for tier three. And uh, we'll just start with it right here. Say, so here you go. One. Go. So one of the things I, I point out right at the start there, though, is that the, the game definitely does not have a whole lot of fanfare for when it's counting down. It's it's very subtle. Uh, I feel like it, it, it should have a little bit more of a, a surprise countdown, some more jazzy sounds and whatnot. But then again, I always think of Mario Kart when I think of racing, so maybe that's part of it. So here we are in Roll Cage. Uh, I'm playing as my Happy Jack car here. You do have the option of building other cars in the garage, which I'll show you after this race here. But you can see the car just flipped around like that. Ooh, that's a spot you don't want to be in. Now we're going to reset our, our car here. I am now in 10th place. Now, that is one of the things that I, I dislike a lot with this game, is that if you make one little mistake, more often than not, you are going to get yourself thrown into last place. Um, luckily, in some races, see right there, nothing I could have done. Accidentally hit the guy. Now I'm going the wrong way. And now I got to reset again, and now I'm back to 10th. So I, sometimes you're going to get into a race where you're just flawless. You are just first place to the whole thing, and you get first place. Other times, you're going to be first place to the whole thing, and when you hit the finish line, the AI rubber bands, and you end up in fourth or fifth place for no reason. See, again, right there, just, I don't understand. Like, I'm just hitting stuff. It happens so quickly, you know? Um... And then there's other times where you're just going to be a last place the whole race, and there's really nothing you can do about it to catch up. Uh, you can pick up these little orbs here. 
uh, that, that do pop up every now and then. Let's see, these guys here. And in this particular race, they're only giving you boosts. This, this, this particular race, there's no combat. Most races, you're going to find that you have rockets. Oh my god, I just got completely thrown up into the air. Oh, I have no control. But that one worked out in my favor pretty well. Um, but, but most races, you're going to have combat. You're going to have rockets, you're going to have machine guns, you're going to have shields. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you want to try to hit those green things that are on the floor as much as you can. Because those will give you a tiny little boost. And you do actually have your own boost on board, too. You can see in the bottom right, you have that uh, glowing green that's there to let you know, like, hey, use your boost. You got plenty of it. There we go. I hit another ledge there. And that totally takes up a lot of my time. That's the thing. A lot of this game is really, really fast. Uh, I feel like when you get thrown up in the air and you don't have control and you're, you're trying to control, uh, get your car back on the ground so you can regain control, I find it's really, really slow and sort of like it's it's painful to watch your car go through that and try to try to get everything back under control. Um, like I said, half of the time it's my fault because I'm not paying attention. Uh, the other half of the time it's someone bumping into me and just railing me into the rocks. So you can see while I'm playing this, that is happening to me. You know, I'm getting hit, but I'm also hitting things. So those things combined sometimes equals a frustrating experience uh, during some of these races. Uh, you can see at the top, see, look at that. I was moving so fast I had no idea that was even coming up. Oi. Oi, oi. Alright, let's see if we can regain traction here. You'll see in the top uh, center there, you'll see your position. We're currently 6 out of 10. And then uh, we're currently on lap 3 of 3. Uh, majority of races I've had so far have been two laps, uh, which I find to be better because if you're in a position where you're not doing well, you only have to endure two laps, um, and then you could restart the race after that if you so choose. Okay, here we go. Let's use up some abilities here. Let's see if we can at least get to third place before we're done. Uh, the good thing about this game, though, is that it's... Whoa! Okay, here we go. Where we're going? I don't know. See, so at this point, we might as well just reset our car. And luckily, you have that reset car button because you are going to be using it a lot, especially on new tracks that you haven't played before. That's one of the things with this track is I have not played it yet, so that's part of the reason I'm in the, the predicament I'm in of hitting a lot of different things. At least I don't think I've played this one. I don't recognize it. Some of the other tracks are a lot more recognizable. Uh, it becomes like Mario Kart where you just like know the track inside and out. Oh. Here's the end. We, I don't know how, but we managed to get second out of ten there. Not sure how that happened. We got very, very, very lucky at the end there. Uh, so there you go. That is one race there. Uh, it is going to actually give you XP based on different things you do. XP is earned, as you can see, uh, by finishing races, but also getting up a certain average speed. Uh, getting airborne. We got 300 XP just for having a large amount of our time airborne. Uh, but you're going to get a lot more XP during death matches and during races where you're combating uh, other racers. So when the other races are uh, racing away from you or you're trying to catch up, if you hit them with a rocket or whatever, you're going to get a, a sizable amount of points for that. All right, so now you can see that uh, we're at a point in the tournament where uh, we're going to hit event two. But what's kind of cool here is that you can actually hit back um, and you can cancel out of the tournament if you want. Um, unfortunately, you can't save it, which kind of sucks. Um, and I think I misspoke there. I didn't mean to say this is something cool. This is something I don't like, actually. I kind of wish that it would save your spot in the tournament in case you got to go because you do have to do uh, three races in the row to finish a tournament. And now that they're turning into three lap races, I can see that that's a bigger time commitment just in case you wanted to like race one thing and then take a break or, or uh, come back to it later. So unfortunately, that is not an option. Hopefully that's something they can add in later. That would be a, a really nice, uh, really nice thing to add in there, I think. All right, here we go. Now you can see between both courses already that we've been racing on, there is a quite an obvious uh, difference in aesthetics. You know, you got more of a, uh, a future cyberpunk type of look with this one. Uh, the previous one, you had the, the cool, you know, Arctic Tundra thing going on. Woo! Oh, see, I got stopped there. I don't even know why. 
It's another one of those situations where I'm just like, why did I get stopped? I don't know. And for a game that is all about speed and all about like going topsy turvy and stuff like that, I understand that there's got to be a little challenge with like keeping your car, you know, flat so that way it's landing correctly and stuff like that. But sometimes you're going so fast you can't even see what it is that knocked you off. Oh, there we go. And see, that one restarted me, and I don't, don't even know why. And now I'm back in seventh place. So, there, there are times in this game where it's just like, man, what did I do? What did I hit? Come on, man. Give me, throw me a bone here. Give me a break. There's other times, too, where the, you wish the game would reset you, and it doesn't. Uh, there was one time where I, I hit the bank of a rock, and it went up in the air, and I was expecting it to restart me, and I came back, came back on the ground. And just to, there we go, that's out. That was my fault there, though. We gotta stay on the track. There we go. Um, let's use our ability here. Oh, going sideways. There was a time where I hit this this rock on an embankment, though, and it really, really rocked my world. Hey, right there. I don't understand why I went sideways and now I'm going this way. All right, might as well just restart here. Somehow I was still in sixth position, though. Don't know how that's working. Anyway, <laughs> not to belabor the story anymore, but I hit this rock, went up the embankment, went up in the air, and somehow the game just did not reset me, but I was stuck between these rocks and I couldn't get out. Uh, there's this other Arctic Tundra level that I do actually like, uh, but there's sort of like this half-pipe tunnel thing that you go through, and there's these really jagged rocks on the side that you're supposed to avoid, and at any time if you even touch the rocks, the game just resets you, uh, because there's nothing you can do there. And that could be a little bit frustrating, too. So, there's certain little things about the, the architecture and the geometry with this game that just either they don't work or it's something you're going to have to work around while you're playing it. I think it's probably uh, a hindrance based on the fact that they're basing this game on an older racing game. You know, as racing games have evolved, they've been able to eliminate a lot of that annoying stuff that old racing games used to do. We got fourth there, which not terrible, but not great. Um... But this game, while it has done that, if you compare this to a video of Roll Cage, which I, I did watch earlier, you can see that they have improved a lot about the the formula of the game. But unfortunately, there's still you know little things here and there. Um, just a little note on the history of this game too. It started in Kickstarter, I think, back in like 2015, and I think they canceled it for some reason. I don't know if they ended up getting a publisher or what was the deal, um, but. Then uh, it went into early access on Steam for, it, had, it must have been like three years now at this point, if that's the case, because uh, it's just now coming out in 2018. Um, and I, I feel a little bad too, because like, I don't want it to seem like I'm, I'm dogging this game, because I'm not, I actually do enjoy playing it, so I, I feel like I'm kind of starting off with a lot of the bad stuff right off the bat, but I, I'm, I feel like this game is a lot of fun, it just has a, a few things that kind of ruin the experience at times, and it, they really need to be talked about. Um, so one of the cool things about this game is you do have a garage. We've been playing as this uh, custom car I made called Happy Jack. Uh, I also have, if you load these up, select load. I have this one called the Red Knot, which I actually haven't raced with yet. And then this guy I did a lot of races with called the Nubby O. And at any point, you know, it's it's just like uh, creating a, a player or whatever. You can go in here and make a car. So let, let's uh, let's try making a new one here. So. Let's see if there's... Okay, so this looks like one that I've actually unlocked, which I didn't know I unlocked. That's one other thing about the game, too, is I'm not sure that it's great about telling you about the things that you've unlocked sometimes. Like, you could see up here uh, that they put a little asterisk next to the uh, wheel, right? Uh, so when we highlight that and look over here, you see an orange asterisk. So you know, like, oh, there's new uh, wheels for this vehicle, right? Uh, but unfortunately, when you unlock a car, you don't really know unless you keep flipping through these things to, to see if you got it. Um, but this is definitely a brand new car, so this is as easy as, and I'm doing this on Steam, you'd have to do this with a controller on a console or whatever, uh, but this is as easy as selecting the color you want, actually I think that's a pretty cool looking color there, uh, for the primary color you pick the body of your car, uh, you could, you know, turn down the saturation, turn it up, um, then you can turn up the brightness of the color if you want, turn it down. Uh, then, of course, you have secondary colors, which you can keep playing with, so you can make your car look completely uh, crazy and different if you want. So let's let's do like a just a crazy colored car here. We'll go this route with it. All right, those colors look good. Uh, between body, you could also change the color of the rims, so we can stop it there. Right now, red uh, rims are set to red. 
Uh, let's see, we did pink, blue, and yellow. We haven't done green. Let's do green uh, rims here. Let's just make a really ugly looking car, if you guys are cool with that. And that's the inside of the rim. We'll make that red. Um, okay, and these are different uh, paints that you could set up on different cars here. Obviously, depending on the car you have, at different levels you reach, you unlock different paints, which is kind of fun. Um, you also have decal, uh, decals you could put on here. So you could put on uh, a logo or you can put on this thing if you want here. So we'll put that one on. And of course, you can go in and we can uh, scale a size. We can change the color. I'm going to turn, let's see, what do we got here for colors? That's another yellow. Turn the saturation down all the way. Just trying to make it stick out a little bit here. That looks a little dark there. That's pretty good. You also have the ability to like, if you, you want to take that decal and move it around, you could do uh, a pitch here where you can change like the, the warp of it. Uh, you could change the yaw, which basically just means you can rotate it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you can roll it so that way it's on the other side of the car if you want or on the, the, the actual side of the car, which is kind of cool. Um... And of course, we have wheels here. So right now we have those wheels selected, but of course we can go through and pick any set of wheels we want. I kind of like those. I haven't used those yet. Um, so for any of those of you who play Rocket League and you're really into making your car look different, this is definitely uh, going to appeal to you there. So whenever you're done with your car, uh, customizing it, you can actually go over here. And what you want to do is you want to go to uh, save here. Uh, you want to give it a new name. We'll just call this one... Uh, Rainbow Boy, how about that? And hit OK. Now here's the thing: is when you make a brand new car, make sure you hit save down here. Otherwise, it will not save your car there. I had that happen to me. I made three cars, and they just disappeared on me. And I was really irritated when I reloaded the game later. Uh, okay, let's uh, actually jump into the next and final race here for uh, tier three, or at least uh, the first part of tier three, I should say. Let's see if we can get the boost here. Three, two, one, and go. Nope, I missed it. So the way to get the boost in this is once it counts down, one, uh, three, two, uh, three, two, one. Once it hits go, if you hit your accelerator right as it says go, uh, you can get a little boost. Oh, this car is flying. Now this is one of the tutorial levels. Uh, this one I find to be a lot more fun because it's very simple. And I like the fact that you could just like keep going back and forth between the ceiling and the floor to the point where you don't even remember which side is which anymore, which is pretty fun. You could actually just race completely on the side of the wall here if you want. Woo! The speed in this game definitely gets pretty insane at times, which again can be very, very fun. And these are the kind of races I like, just a quick, quick lap here. This is definitely one that needs some uh, some weapons, though, so we'll, we'll get into a car combat situation in the next race we have, so you guys can get a, a taste of that. Now we're already on lap three. This is a very quick race. Woo! Uh, but I, I think a, a simple oval track like this, I think, is the best representation of the game at times, just to give you an idea how this is supposed to work. Um, other times when the levels get too complicated, those are the levels I don't end up liking as much. Uh, and again, that might, it's just a memorization thing at that point. There we go. We got second, second place at least. So we'll see where we came in at the end here. There we go. We, we reached uh, level eight. See, that's what I'm talking about there, though. You reach level 8, it doesn't tell you what you unlocked. It'd be nice if it actually told you uh, what you unlocked there. So let's continue. So let you know here there's a tiebreaker between some of the bots that are playing. Um, so you can see here that uh, H.exe uh, won because his combined race times were better than mine. Only by two seconds, though. Uh, so he's actually going to take it over me. So I'm probably going to get second place here, I think. Yeah, place second. Um, so this this was uh, something that there, it lets you know that you got new stuff there, but it doesn't tell you what. Um, so this was one of the things that I did think was cool, though, is that um, once you get through uh, that tournament, uh, you still have some other tournaments to get through. 
and um, I do like that they actually do the tiebreaker thing, so that way you you actually because a lot of times when you're in racing games, you know the bots are very inconsequential, and you know they're just kind of like okay, you got first, and the rest of them are someplace behind there. You know and they just tally it up. In this, they're actually calculating everybody's times and everything, which I think is really really cool. Um, so yeah, there you have it. There's one one uh, tournament there. Uh, we're actually gonna jump back out here. Um, and we are going to go to single player. We're going to do a, a combat race here. Uh, let's see here. A proper combat race. I just want to put one of these together. Um, so that way you could see some of the combat. Um, let's see. We got transport. Transport rev. So you see there's uh, quite a few different um, levels to actually choose from to race in. So they've included a lot. Which I, I think is great. Uh, let's just go with this uh, transport level here. And we'll do three. No, let's let's go over here. You have a lot of different options, so we're gonna change to two laps, ten combatants, catch up assistance. Uh, I don't know if that's for us or for them. I don't know. Uh, usually, destructible vehicles is off, I think, because they just like delay you from going further. Uh, mirror track. Okay, so that's cool. So you can actually mirror the track too. Engine power is low, normal, or wild. So you have a lot of different options there, which is kind of fun. But let's race uh, this one, and so that way you guys can see some of the combat, because the combat is a ton of fun. We'll actually check out a deathmatch after this, too. One. Go. There we go. I got the boost. So you see there, the boost is also a very subtle thing, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's like... Show my car, like, blasting off at the beginning. Like, you want this game to be a futuristic, like, roll cage racer type of thing? Let's let's boost it, man. Go all the way. So the ability I'm using right there, that is a shield. Uh, that keeps anybody from shooting at me from behind. Which is pretty handy. I actually really dig this level here. I feel like this one works really well, too. Uh, those barrels I hit, you can actually hit those with rockets at some point. And if you do, if you do so, though, they will blow up. Okay, there we go. We grab that. This ability... Whoa! I knocked that one. This ability I don't think I've used before, actually. It might be a new one, because sometimes when you're uh, doing things in the tournament, and you, you un one, uh, one of the things you can actually unlock are other uh, power-ups and abilities to use during combat, which is kind of interesting. Alright, let's use my shield, because someone is shooting at me. And here we go. We land there. Lap, lap one. Uh, here we go. Let's shoot those guys. There we go. Let's get some explosions going, right? Getting a lot more shields and rockets and stuff, though. I'll tell you that. Woo! Oh, that's just a boost, but we will use it. Something's honing in on me. There it is. They got me. So that turned me all the way around. Okay, right there. See the way the camera was? Like, I don't know. I couldn't tell which way I actually had to go. So it was like, should I be re... Should I, should I you know, automatically hit the button and, and reset my car? Or is the game going to do it for me? A lot of times the game is unsure whether it should do it for you or whether you should do it. There we go. See that? Like, hit the rock. Just go crazy. The last time I hit the rock, the one that I was talking about, though, I went up in the air and didn't come down for a while, and, like, cars were just passing me up before I landed. Oh, we got this, like, silent thing. Yeah. We get to use a lot of the abilities there, but we'll use them more in Deathmatch here. But that was fourth. Not a great race for me. But what are you going to do? But you do get XP for it, which is kind of cool. All right. So, you know, even if you're doing a bot match, you're going to get some XP, which is kind of nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's go back here. And let's do a single-player deathmatch. And what have I played in so far? I want to see if I should do a new deathmatch map here, something I haven't played in. I think I played that one. I don't think I played View to Kill. So we got 10 combatants. Let's shorten up the time here. Let's just do a three minute one. Kill limit of 10. 
Uh, okay, this all looks good. Let's fight. Now, some of the things I may be complaining about here, like I said, I'm just over two hours into playing the game. Some of the things I might be complaining about are things that might actually uh, be things that I end up uh, learning more about later on. Wow, this one's got like a jump over here to like pick up other abilities. This is an interesting arena. Alright, so right now I have a machine gun, so I could use it on this guy. Or maybe not. I'm not sure what happened right there. That was weird. Apparently I did something though. I got 110 points for something. I'm hitting somebody with my bullets. Interesting. But yeah, uh, some of these things I'm complaining about might be things that they iron out in the future with the game. And I hope that is the case, because a lot of them are, are little issues, but you can tell in this map, though, too, sometimes it's really hard to navigate exactly, like, where you're supposed to be going, what you're doing. Like, I'm kind of on the wall now. Should I be on the wall? I really don't know. I don't think the game even knows. So there, there's times where the, the whole roll cage, like, ceiling versus floor thing works immensely well, right off the, the edge here. And there's other times where it, I feel like it just doesn't work at all. Uh, I don't know if it needed more testing or what, what was going on, but there's just some times where it's just like, man, what what is happening, you know? Um, but if this ends up uh, looking like a, a game that you are into, like I said, there is the uh, multiplayer aspect of it. But where the hell are these guys at? I don't think these bots really like this <laughs> this level all that much, or maybe I just can't get to them. That might be the case. But yeah, playing this game online, like I said, I played a couple races online, seems to work pretty well. And uh, I, I I got absolutely decimated by the people playing online. Um, so keep that in mind, too, that if you're coming to this late, you're, pro you're more than likely going to be playing with dudes who are, like, super good at the game. And they're probably going to wipe the floor with you like they did to me. Oh, right back down. There we go. This arena almost seems like too big for its own good, if you ask me. I can't quite get to anybody. Boom! I got that guy. So you can see at the bottom it said RC, Rocket, and Chug there. Um, I wish that was a little bit more obvious, too. Like, the the text that shows off who you, who you took out and who took you out. Almost like a, a Quake situation where they actually showed it up in the top corner, text a little bit bigger and whatnot. That would be kind of helpful, I think. Oh, we're already in the last 10 seconds here. Whoa! Okay, back it up. Somehow I think I got first place on that, though. Wow. It's a very low-scoring deathmatch game there. Uh, I don't think all arenas in this game were created equal, though. Let's, let's jump into a different deathmatch arena that I've actually played and had a good time in. Uh, let's do... Oh, we got Basin and Biodome. I think Biodome was a pretty good one here. Uh, let's do a quick match of that. All right, Rainbow Boy, we got this. Go! Big tree. Watch out for the big tree. Totally my fault on that one. All right, we shoot a rocket. Who we get? Boom. There. See, we actually got that guy with that one. Now, this arena, I feel like, is a really well-tested good arena here. Uh, the one that we just played in, I don't feel like is all that great. I feel like that's more for, like, players who may have played a lot of this, like the developers or something, and that was, like, included for... Oh, crap. Oh, got hit by the rocket. I feel like that was more for them to... Uh, have fun with after they've been playing the game for the past three years or so. All right, we got another rocket. You gotta wait for that to line up. There we go. Got another, another hit there. There goes another rocket. That was a twofer right there because two guys are right next to each other. Woo! So this arena to me just like works so much better. Uh, you got ramps to go up on. You got. 
uh, dudes all over the place. They can't hide in too many areas, but there's enough there's enough hiding to get away if you need to. Uh, but there's enough wide open areas too that you know you're gonna create a lot of fun uh, chances to take dudes out in. So I, I think it's a, a good representation of the sort of the totality of this game is that you know some matches and some tracks are just better than others. Um, and that, that's really all there is to it. Like, when this game shines, it really shines and it really, really works and it's awesome. And then other times when the track isn't all that fun um, and you're not quite sure what's going on and your car gets wrecked because someone hit you from behind or whatever happened, uh, it's, it's not super fun. Oh, jeez. I, I totally broke right there. That's why I fell. I will say, though, I know I have these bots on easy, but they are not very bright. I'm assuming if we throw them on hard, though, they to totally whip our asses, though, for sure. Oh, nope, that's not going to hit anybody. Okay, there's one. Get the boost. There we go. There's another one. Definitely getting more points this time than I did last time. Woo! Up the tree. Wow, I haven't done that yet. There we go. Wow, we totally destroyed that guy. It's a good feeling when you get one of those explosions, for sure. Oop, I don't know where that's going. It's going after the tree. There you go. It's another first, but... Very, very easy, because we, we had the bots on easy. Yeah, wow, super easy. Look, now my, my CPU controller there, he's stuck in the tree, doesn't know, <laughs> doesn't know where to go. So it looks like you're not getting a lot of XP for the bot matches, but you are getting some. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, guys, that is Grip. Uh, like I said, um, I, I don't think it's a bad game whatsoever. I think it's one of those games that just needs a... I know it's been in early access for a couple of years now, but it's one of those games that just needs a, it needs a little bit more attention in certain little areas. And other than that, I think it's great. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Um, but they definitely need to update a, f a couple little things. Uh, definitely works good uh, with online multiplayer. Uh, works good with bots, as you can see. The uh, campaign is fun. So if this is the kind of game you're into, you know, racing with a, a car that can go either way, top to bottom and whatnot, uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm not so sure. Um, like I said, though, there's a few small kinks that they need to work out. It's, it's very... Uh, you know, I hate to use the term mixed bag because it's so overused, but that, that's kind of where it's at right now for me. Uh, but other than that, I, I, I think it's cool. I think it's worth checking out if they get to uh, a couple of those uh, little, little changes there. Uh, but regardless, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. GG, and I'll see you all next time. GGRC.